Hey, hey, Dominic, the CX guy here. Zendes consultant here, eight years of experience, Zendes partner for the past two years, and recently finished a subcontracting agreement with Zendes directly to help them with the recent uh, surge in product. And I'm here to share some of the knowledge I've gained throughout my experience. Today, we're going to talk about uh, Zendes chat and how you can leverage it to uh, help you increase sales. Specifically, uh, there's definitely um, a lot of gimmicks that you can use. Uh, with the Zendesk chat, but uh, for example, today we're going to go over a proactive instead of a reactive greeting, right? Um, so a reactive greeting would be, for example, if a customer would be on your page, uh, on your sales page or on your product page, and they would be hesitant as to making a purchase, uh, instead of them requesting a chat and saying, hey, do you have any discounts or any promos? Uh, we'd much rather have a proactive approach and say, uh, if the visitor spends a number of time, a number of seconds on our website or on a specific product page, to have a proactive uh, message, greet them and say, "Hey, we've noticed that you've been uh, you've been here for quite a while. Would you like to see our maybe our discounts, or would you like to get in touch with an agent?" Uh, this is to increase your sales because uh, customers are three times more likely to make a purchase if somebody helps them. So. If you're being proactive about it, that's an even better approach. Uh, so what we're going to do is like, um, if you've been here before, we're going to do, we're going to look at the uh, end user experience or the customer experience. And then I'm going to go walk you through how you can build that as an admin inside Zendesk. So let's go. Let me share my screen real quick. Sec, let me minimize these. All right, so let's imagine that this is uh, my product page where I'm encouraging users to go and make a purchase. So I've set the time limit to 10 seconds. I, if a customer is hesitant and is visiting my website for longer than 10 seconds on a product page, uh, I want them to be greeted automatically by a message saying like, oh, this is Chris reaching out saying, hi there, would you like to find out more details about our discount? So the customer would say, yes, I do. Yes, I do, I do. And you have a typo in your message. <laughs> I just noticed that. So anyway, you can obviously make the wording uh, to however you want and uh, whatever your, your, um, your company's, uh, let's say, uh, wording is like and however friendly or uh, or unfriendly or rigid or I don't know, whatever you want your message to be. Anyway, um, this now is going to be sent to an agent and an agent has to get back to us to uh, get back to the client and yeah, help them with the purchase. So this is in essence how you would do and how you would create uh, what this looks like for the customer experience. So uh, now I'm going to show you how it looks like for an admin's perspective and how you can build this out yourself. So let's go to our admin page. So I'm in settings, I'm in triggers, and I'm going to go to my greet our visitor. So I obviously have to enable this. Um, I have to give the trigger a name. I have to give it a quick description. Uh, I want this to fire only once per visitor. So now we're going to go over the customization or the specifics of the trigger. So I want to, this trigger to run when a visitor has loaded the chat widget, meaning that when they load the product page, for example. Um, and I want to check the conditions, uh, check all the conditions that meet all of these conditions, uh, the conditions below. Uh, I want to do this, for example, if the user has been on my page, for example, for longer than 10 seconds, or less or longer, 10 seconds is a little bit too pushy, to be honest, it probably, uh, it would have been a little bit better if it were a little bit higher, maybe like 20 seconds. Um, visitors, visitor previous visits equals zero. This means that the, uh, this specific customer has not been on my website before. So I want them to be unique and uh, give them a unique experience. Uh, because obviously, if you do something too many times, then people pick up on it, and they're not necessarily um, giving giving it like a normal human feel. You want to do that rather than um, yeah, make like a robotic feel to it. Visitor requesting chat is false, so this means that the the our visitor on the website has not yet requested a chat. And then visitors served. 
means that is false means that this user has not been served by an um, an agent yet because imagine you know a customer is being assisted by an agent and then they have to uh, um they are in the per let's say in the middle of a conversation and then this message pops up and just uh, you know it's just very confusing and um it wouldn't be ideal and then the actual message right so um send the message to visitor uh, I have to give the name of the agent and I'm going to name them Chris and then hi there, would you like to find out more, correcting my typo, more details about our discounts? Yeah, I save it and that's it. So this has been in essence what or how you are able to have a proactive approach instead of a reactive one to increase your sales. And very good takeaway, remember that the uh, a client is three times more likely to make a purchase if somebody assists them. So if you are going to be proactive about it, even better. So yeah, that's the quick lesson for today. Thank you for watching.